Hi guys, it's Martina. I thought I'd try out a little bit of a different video today. It's still planner related, but I wanted to show you guys how I pre-plan. Um, when I first start my plan with me videos, you guys just see a blank layout, but actually a lot more goes into what it looks like before you guys start seeing it. So I'm going to open up my planner and show you guys the week that I'm currently working on now. So this is the week that the plan with me just went up on Monday for and as you guys can see if you saw that plan with me it is completely different than when you guys first saw it. I used to do my pre-planning well I've always done my pre-planning like this um, where I use the little post-it page flags and mark down everything that's going on throughout the day. I have kind of flip-flopped back and forth between how I'm actually going to do it. If you guys have seen the Playing With Me videos from way back in July when I first started Playing With Me videos, then um, I think the pages were blank and I had everything written out on a separate paper or something like that and then I went into just doing it this way and now I still pre-plan like this, but there's another step that I do before I start recording my Plan With Me videos. So, the very first thing I do every week, even before um, I start adding in stickers like this, I'll show you guys a week in June. So, as you guys can see, there's nothing else here except for one little page flag. And this is on a lot of my weeks. It is what the theme is going to be for that week. So, I've been getting quite a few kits recently. I used to plan a lot with Doree sticker books, which I haven't done so much anymore. But I still have some that I want to still work in throughout the year. But... I've really been enjoying buying kits recently and I just think that they're so beautiful so I've been trying to figure out when I can use them and where they fit in and things like that and I always have a page flag that says what my theme is going to be for that week first. So this week is the week of my nephew's birthday which means it is going to be a superhero week and so that's what this little page flag says. Then I'll show you guys this week which is the last week in March and I after I have the sticker in the corner that says my theme then I go through the month and put in when my bills are due so right here I have student my student loan bill is due and then I as the time goes on I'll start adding little things that I know are going to be happening so right here I have drive home because I am going out of town um, the weekend before and Monday I'm going to be driving home so I have that and eventually turn out like this <laughs> where there is a ton of post-its it looks crazy but it's just easier for me to kind of look at it and see if I need to move something or something like that usually around Friday I'll sit down and try to figure out what YouTube videos I'm going to be posting, so that's what the post-its are down here. What TV shows are going to be on, which are the post-its up here. And then also I'll stick in probably around Saturday or Sunday night when I'm watching TV, or not Sunday night, probably around Friday or Saturday night when I'm watching TV, I'll go through and start adding in things that are a pretty regular occurrence. So things that you guys see me do almost every week, things like making my stickers and painting my nails, I'll add those in. So then like today, today is Sunday. Um, I usually record my Play With Me videos on a Sunday. I am going to start taking the post-it notes off so that I can start doing my Play With Me. What I used to do, what I had been doing for a while, was I would pre-plan like this, then I would take target lists and write in Monday, and everything that I needed to have down for the week. Then Tuesday and everything that needed to happen that day. And then Wednesday and so on. And that worked out for quite a while. That's just how I was doing it. Re more recently, I purchased a notepad from the Target Dollar section like this that has the whole week on it. Um, it only has one section for the weekend, which is okay because I don't usually have a ton of stuff that I need to write in for the weekend. But 
I like that this has it all on one sheet and I can look at it um, all at once and not have to worry about flipping pages or thinking I missed something or anything like that. Also, I do have another little notepad here that has all the stickers that I like to make sure that I have for that spread. So, like I said, I'm using a lot more kits right now and not all the kits have things that I need or want in my layout. So, as like last week, um, I used a kit from Delightful Lemon and I ended up adding in more boxes as well as um, hydrate stickers from a different page. I made my own habit trackers and my step tracker and there's just little things like that that I want to make sure I have for when I am planning. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to fast forward through. I'm just going to go through and write down everything on here that I am going to, or that I have on this these pages. And I just kind of go right down the week. I'll start with Monday. So I just go right down the week and make bullet points and write down what I want to get done on that day. So I'm actually going to flip this in half. That makes it easier. And I am left-handed, which means I like to write on an angle. <laughs> so on Monday, I want to make a new cover. And then that's all I have for things I want to do. Um, I already know what my theme is going to be. It's going to be a kit from Nicole Alexia Designs. I'm making a new cover. I am going to watch... The Bachelor. It's the Women Tell All special and Teen Mom. It is the second finale special. I write in my work schedule, which Monday I just have one client. And then my YouTube video is going to be the plan with me. And this is why you guys don't ever see this page is because I can't write very nicely. <laughs> So I'm just going to go through and do all of those for each of the days. So then there is all of that and then just so I remember exactly what to do or what I'm doing when I am recording, um, down here at the bottom, I'm just going to write like a wiggly line and write down things I want to make sure I include in my spread. So things like my hydrate, my steps, my days without soda, my weekend banner, because sometimes I forget I'm going to post that put it on and my habits and I'll just write the word habits and then make a little list that I want to do vitamins and my sleep. I've been trying to get to sleep before midnight and it's been working out the past week so we'll keep going on that. So that's pretty much how I pre-plan for my week um, especially right before I am going about right before I'm about to do my plan with me videos. This I will usually just have sitting over on the side of my table um, while I am going through my video and showing you guys what I'm decorating and things like that. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in a comment down below. Also, I will link in an iCard as well as down in the description my plan with me video for this week so you guys can see how it actually turns out all decorated and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you are new and I will see you guys real soon. Bye!